Hello my beautiful earth angels and soul tribe, welcome back to another collective reading for you guys. We're going to be pulling some cards, some oracle cards. I have the karma cards here, they're called, this is an oracle deck, astrology deck, really beautiful. Um, and it's really interesting because I've had multiple conversations with people today about karma and then I got these arrive in the post and they're called karma cards and I just I didn't realize that was what they were called um so I think it's interesting there's a heavy energy surrounding karma and you know I know karma sounds a bit scary sometimes but I don't think there's really good or bad karma maybe in the ways that we could perceive it as pleasant or unpleasant easy or harder but karma really is a major part to all of our journeys because, you know, the karma are, are our healing cycles. They're what shape us and mold us into the containers we need to be for what comes next in our journey. They're things that we and our soul signed up to experience so that we may learn deeper and connect deeper with ourselves and our minds and also you know, our healing journeys, because karma is often related to emotions. It's like, yeah, things can happen on the outside that can be considered karmatic, but um, the things on the outside are happening to arise certain emotional inner cycles. So um, really it's about this emotional journey of alchemy is karma and how you're alchemizing energy because really you're attracting, you know, or you're, you know, you're creating more of what you're projecting out to the world through your um, actions and emotions. You know, this doesn't mean that you have to fear being in a low vibration. Low vibrations are the fuel to our fires. It's, it's so necessary and it shouldn't be segregated. But let's not, let's not get me passionate about <laughs> that. Okay, let's keep on track. Okay, so... Yeah, these are emotional cycles that are alchemized and, you know, we get passed down these uh, through generations. Uh, maybe this is the way that we get taught, you know, through, through seeing, uh, through what energies and emotions are projected onto you. You know, I'm getting a message that you guys are very empathic and you pick up energy very heavily, uh, especially when it comes to growing up, being around your family or being around friends, you pick up energy, uh, you feel it deeply, you know, you know how other people are feeling, and um, this actually, I feel like spirit saying, you're like a sponge, but you've also, in this way, you absorb other people's karmic healing cycles as well, you know, maybe this is generational, maybe this is through certain friends you have, they're getting a very specific message come through again, that it's like certain people that you've encountered through your journey, you um, you may have, after a while of being around them um, or interacting with them, may have picked up some of their emotional cycles. You know, you might not know this all the time because maybe you don't know everything other people are dealing with, but at the same time, you're given them because in spirit you're this you're a very aware soul and and it's almost as if spirit knows that you have the keys to break these cycles to rise back up from these energies to break them you know to um to change you have the power to actually reprogram your thought habits with your awareness your thought cycles your emotional cycles with higher perspectives and awareness and alchemy and where you shift your focus toward but you have a lot of power in your awareness and where you're shifting your awareness to so spirit puts you through these cycles when you are around these people to basically show them and this isn't in an egotistical way you're like oh we're showing all these people wrong blah 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 is you almost get to work through it with these people maybe you find that certain friends are going through the same struggles uh, as you in certain aspects and it's almost as if you can talk, relate, 
uh, laugh things out, cry things out together, you know, however you process it. Uh, and, and also, it's almost as if, like, they relate to you deeper because you're going through the same thing. You tend to mirror people, yeah. So a way of this mirroring is that sometimes you do get given other people's karmic cycles because you are this karmic cycle breaker. It's, it's actually something within your soul's energy, one of the main energies. I'm getting that in your soul contracts, one of the main energies you signed up for, which branches over so many different areas, is being this justice, calm, this, this karmatic justice. You are karmic justice, meaning like you have the power to break karmic cycles within your family and also with the people around you. Like I say, because you are absorbing them, and you're going through them with them, you're almost going through it and helping them alchemize as well with you, um, you know, by giving them certain perspectives or just you naturally healing and being like, you know, this is how I feel about this now. And they're like, oh, okay, you know, maybe I'm going to shift along with that energy too. Because you're giving the stepping stones, you're being put in the same energetic vibration in certain karmic cycles as these people. And through you, breaking it for you uh transmuting that energy you're also helping them to do that i hope i've explained that clearly you give them the keys as well and also for you you know you get this support of connection and healing because obviously you've picked up those energies now too so it's like it happens both ways but you are this leader in this way that you are very aware you are independent thinkers and you're very tapped into energy you absorb people's energy as well as their cycles um yeah i feel like this is something that you actually you chose you signed up for as a soul before you came here because you decided that you wanted to help heal you are a healer you decided you wanted to help heal the collective the world you wanted to help heal people through connections this doesn't even have to be anything you do for work passion or anything your connections you know your relationships the acquaintances the the friends in passing the people you come across where you bounce around to the locations you're a healer and you're helping to raise the collective frequency by signing up to clear and help clear karma that is stored here especially trauma cycles so trauma so karma cycles that are based from trauma as well and pain um this is what you came to do you may have for some of you you know you need to take what resonates but some of you could have incarnated into a family with maybe a lot of trauma cycles within them you know maybe there's a lot that's happened to maybe your parents or your grandparents or somewhere down there and it's like you came here to yeah cleanse the bloodline some of you are having kids and you're breaking the cycles and you're you're teaching them and raising them in a completely healed healed way this is to do with how you speak to them how you communicate and how they feel in a safe space to communicate with you as well um for others of you you know not everyone here has kids this is with your friends and your families and you are the one that is clearing those generational cycles. So this is a very powerful message, you know? And I specifically meditated before this one and I was like, please spirit, let's get a real good message that is gonna reconnect us to our soul self, you know, bring some of that clarity, bring some of those soul memories back why did we come here? <laughs> you know? Because the important reasons why you came here, you're already doing them. You're already living them. And you've already done most of them without even knowing. You know? I think you're very aware about a lot of them. But still to the extent, you know, like, you guys are very powerful. Okay, we just had... Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I laugh like that, but... <laughs> okay, we have the moon come out. Reactions. No way. It says, 
the nurturing of feeling caused by and then reactions and i just react in this strangest way after pulling that when do i ever act like that after pulling a card i don't know but this is this is related to the message it's about reactions how you react to things how you respond to things this is where you're breaking the cycles and how you're reacting as well but that's just one small part of the message with the moon here you hold this energy of mystery you hold this energy of intuition of the divine of being connected you also hold this energy of being connected to your emotions and actually you you feel your emotions at many different depths i also get something someone could be releasing something right now this could be a separation of some kind or this this you could be really you could be purging like past you could be purging you know you're doing what you do you guys you could be breaking karmic cycles as we speak i mean that's your that's your thing that's your forte i guess so um i mean maybe you feel like you're constantly releasing you're constantly shifting you're constantly evolving your mind is constantly shifting you know, I know this sounds strange. Uh, I say it sounds strange because it's not actually strange, but it might be strange to you guys because it's strange to me as well. But, you know, there's some people that I've met that I've been called a hypocrite because I've changed my perspective or beliefs on something. And actually, that's the only way to grow is by growing. By And you can't grow if you're always seeing things, perceiving things in the exact same way. It's like you you don't even choose to. You just shift your beliefs and your perceptions with how your intuition moves, with how your emotions grow. You travel through your emotional cycles. And because you actually travel through your emotional cycles, meaning you let your emotions flow, I feel that some of you are like, I have no choice because you feel things very intensely sometimes with the moon here, especially at nighttime or just emotionally in general, you feel things deeply um and you are sensitive to energy as well but um you're constantly shifting and evolving yeah because you can go through your emotional cycles and when you do this you are emotionally elevating you are raising your awareness you're raising your frequency as you raise your frequency you're traveling up different perspectives of timelines like each timeline of vibration has and holds different information different perspectives of perceiving and you guys because you're an alchemist of emotions you are constantly alchemizing to grow to heal to look at things differently to shift and you're moving up these timelines that hold different perspectives so you're naturally uh your mind does naturally expand and you do gain new information intuitively you do get your own downloads and epiphanies you do make your own realizations through internal growth and healing that you do you shift through your cycles really beautifully even if it feels messy to you even if you don't feel like you do even if sometimes you feel like you know you struggle or maybe some of you struggle with sleep maybe some of you it's kind of like insomnia Maybe some of you, it feels like a gift and a curse, your awareness sometimes, because you're seeing the higher perspective and um, feeling as if you should be there. But because you feel things at a deeper level, uh, it's actually very intense. It's almost like trying to align your mind with your emotions sometimes, maybe. As I said, take what resonates. Uh, don't try and make it, don't force anything to fit, you know, guys. But we've got the nurturing of, you're so nurturing. You could be nurturing yourself right now. You could be nurturing your intuition right now, your creativity right now. You could be trying to nurture your habits, your sleep, your health. Um, by feelings, by feelings caused by maybe reactions, reactions of somebody towards you or reactions of yourself from a situation. Okay, maybe there was a situation that caused confusion that you have been alchemizing from. Maybe some of you have been in a deep restful period of time um, or healing period of time. You're very connected to your dreams, dream work. Um, as I said, your intuition, you have gifts. You have such powerful gifts. And you know, a lot of you, this is in so many different areas there's 
gifts within knowledge that you have or that you're able to attain, gifts in the way that you think and your mind works, gifts in your third eye chakra, in your intuition, gifts in your throat chakra, your speech, uh, the things that you say, how you speak, your voice is healing. You channel energy for your voice, meaning when you speak to people, you are genuine and you show concern and you put your emotions as a package into what you're saying. Now, sometimes people speak, but they don't really care what they're saying. You're someone that cares in what you say to people because you genuinely think about it because you're trying to help people, whether that's the way you know, you're responding to soothe them or to give them advice or to uh, bubble on an idea about something. Um, sorry, my mind went to a different place then, uh, but I need to hold that energy. Okay, so you hold this healing energy as a package. Some people speak and they're not uh, placing their emotions within what they're saying because it's not attached. It's because in their mind, they're in a different place to they're not able to be present and tuned in to somebody's energy because their mind is in another place. Everyone's mind goes to another place like that, you know? But you have this level of presence when it comes to dealing with people like your family or your friends or acquaintances in general, just people, uh, situations. You have this level of awareness that you keep with you. Now this, makes a big difference because this means you're energetically tuned into what they're saying and their energy and so when you're responding it's your like it says here reactions when you respond you're responding from an emotional reaction it causes within you and so that emotional reaction you have you put into what you say and people feel that and it's healing for them your energy is healing you package your emotion into what you say and um, this could be, say, someone tells you something and you, you know, because this is, you're an empath. Yeah, because you're an empath. Someone tells you something and, and it, this could be really bad news and you feel it. You feel their stress. You feel their emotions. And so how you're responding is based off how they're feeling. And this is really healing for people. This is really validating for people, you know. To you, this is the littlest thing because this is how you operate. This is how you operate when it comes to people. This is natural for you, you because you can't help it. You can't help being an empath. You can't help that. It's a part of you. And it's a part of you because it's how your body and your energy is picking up and receiving the energy around you. Now, your energy is open so much so that you're able to take in energy from the outside. You're not closed off. Some people perceive, everyone perceives things at different levels, feel things at different levels, but yeah, um, you feel you are able to take in energy uh, deeper than some of the people around you. Um, you are the healers. <sighs> so yeah, that's really beautiful really 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 beautiful i think we're going to end the reading here you guys i'm actually going to pull you one last card because it's going to be more of a affirmation type of nice um wholesome advice so i'm going to go get that deck pull your card from there to finish off this reading okay so this is the affirmators deck such a good energy it's it's definitely reflecting the energy of this reading um <sighs> so just yeah this reading come to show you and tell you everything i said earlier i set the intention of you know reconnecting back to our soul self reconnecting and being reminded of uh your power you know So let's see what the angels have to bring to you through the cards. I don't know. I'm picking up silly energy. Right, we're all chill here. We're all friends here. We're all the soul tribe. I don't know. Okay. 
to slow test you because I could be picking up on like your vibe that you could be a very you could be a person that jumps to many different things or you have a very fast thinking mind or you're quite bubbly or um hyperactive I don't know you've got some part of me coming out the card we've got come out is courage I love this I love this this is you being fearless to face your shadows face those demons face the darkness with courage you know you make a difference you know your power is within you know that strength is within emotionally vulnerability belief hope you know and not on the outside so courage no one is fearless no one but even though i am not fearless i am courageous when fear shows up i don't run away from it i use my courage to conquer it my courage allows me to walk right up to that fear and kick it in the nuts then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away <laughs> the fact is you're courageous enough to face your fears regardless of outcome this is reminding me of that analogy that is kind of like to be courageous is not to not feel any fear is to feel the fear and do it anyway you guys have made hard choices that you have feared but you have done them anyway and this makes you a courageous and fearless person to be fearless does not mean to have no fear it means to believe in yourself enough to know that no matter what comes you will gain strength again you will rise back up again and that you are courageous and you don't have to not feel fear to um you know i feel like you don't let fear hold you back but it's that you walk into these hard decisions you have in the past you've proved it to yourself you've done it before you know and you'll do it again so know that you have the courage you have the ability to do anything you want to do to step into anything you want to step in no, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but you will come out the other side and you will come out the other side stronger, even if you don't feel it. That is for a specific person, that message, because you may be facing a decision right now that is revolving a lot of courage, you know, and spirit saying, have faith, have courage in yourself, because either way, you're always led to what's meant for you you're always guided back and rerouted you know when they say that saying re rejection is redirection you know i'm not saying you're going to be rejected by something i'm not saying anything but i'm just saying that <laughs> you're always being redirected back to the path of your soul the path that you feel is aligned with you that resonates with you your soul your frequency and there's no avoiding that no matter what you do no matter what happens what is meant for you will always stay and what is not will sail away okay and what is meant to be will be know that in divine time everything will align and work out in a way that you will have the strength that you will be supported that you will be carried not into empty space but new energies new timelines new experiences and new growth okay so i love you all so much and i will speak to you very soon my angels Mwah.